What's up, Fan Clan? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Phantom, and if this is your first time here, thank you so much uh, for giving me a chance. Uh, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below if you like what you hear. Share this video with your friends, comment, leave a thumbs up. I really enjoy the comments, you guys. You really keep me going. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. Your support, it means everything to me. And I know there's a lot of other people that you could be watching, especially during this time with how crazy Pokemon has gotten. It's absolutely insane. Uh, but I appreciate you coming back to my channel. This is all my information, all my opinion, everything that I'm saying and doing. I've made a lot of mistakes in the past. Uh, I've been doing this business pretty hardcore for about five years now. Um, and really, really intensely for about the past six months, and it's been absolutely insane. So I have made a lot of mistakes along the way, and I know that there's other people out there who want to avoid those mistakes. So I'm trying to share them with you to help your business grow a little bit faster maybe than what mine did. Uh, and it really just depends on how quickly you want it to grow and what level you want to get to. Because if you're only looking to get an extra couple hundred dollars a month, I can help you with that. If you're looking to make a few thousand dollars extra a month, I can help you with that. If you're looking to do this full time, hopefully I can help you with that. But it takes some time and I'm still going through that right now, even, even five years down the road. Uh, I've told you before and I'll say it again, I still work a full time job. I work a nine to five Monday through Friday. Uh, it's really important to me to make sure that I have consistent income coming in to take care of my family, keep putting food on the table. Uh, this is something that I do extra and I work very, very hard at it to make sure that my kids have a future. Um, they go to college, they get married, all that stuff is, is taken care of and, and I can help out and I can help provide that for them. So I'm going to talk to you about starting your own business and what kind of capital you need to begin because I get that question all the time. Uh, what do I need to start this business? And I will be completely honest with you, that's up to you. It is completely up to you how quickly you want it to grow and how how far you want to get. Uh, because when I started this business, I had sold off my collection two times already. When people talk to me about their, their personal collection when they're business owners, I'm like, how do you have a personal collection when you're a business owner? I understand you have stuff that you're going to be you're going to be working on, maybe you're working on master sets, or maybe you, you have things that are set to the side, but when you're buying and you're, you're doing stuff, your business comes first and foremost. Uh, you don't take money out of your business account for your personal collection. You focus on your business, and it takes time. It is a serious grind, and I will get into that in just a second here. So I told you I sold off my collection twice. About five years ago, I sold off my collection because I needed to buy a house. Uh, we had gotten out of our condo, and we took a loss on it, and we needed money to pay for our down payment on our house, so I sold everything. Um, after I got in here, I was like, I really want to try and make this into something. I want to, I feel like I can do it. Uh, I went to a rum sale, I found a Shadowless Mewtwo for $5, and I ended up buying it. I sold it for $35 the following week, not a whole lot of money. This was five years ago, that's kind of what I started with my seed money. And back then, Shadowless cards were not, they were not overly expensive. So this is, this is a completely different market that we live in now, and it changes all the time. So that's an important thing to remember, is that the market is constantly evolving, it's very dynamic. And right now, it may seem like a great time to get into this business and start a business of your own, but I would start off slowly and see where it is because you don't understand the amount of work that it takes. You don't understand the amount of work that gets put into it. You have to be willing to sacrifice every day. And it's a lot. I'm talking about, I go to work full time, I come home and it's like work at night. I'm shipping orders, I'm packing up orders, I'm listing cards, I'm looking for cards to buy. And that's just my end of it. I have a business partner in Minnesota, Papa Blastoise, he's looking through bulk every night. He's sorting through six hours worth of cards every night, going through bulk, pulling stuff out, getting it sold. Like it's it's crazy the amount of work that you need to be, you need to put in in order to make this something big. And that's really what we've been trying to do over the past six months and we're finally starting to get there. But if you're somebody who's like, you you just want to start a little bit to see how it goes I can help you with that and I I will give you all the answers right now so if you're somebody who's like I have a hundred dollars I want to invest a hundred dollars your buy prices are always going to be anywhere from 50 to 60 percent that's what you look for so I would start out taking that hundred dollars and I would focus on things that you know are going to sell and hit your margins because it's your goal to turn about 10 percent profit every two weeks with that if you do that 10 percent for every two weeks, that's 26 pay periods, 26 periods in a year, you are going to finish your year $100 buy-in money with $1,192 worth of inventory at the end of year one. Now that's not great, but if you do that every single two week pay period, you're increasing your margins by 10% or you're, you're profiting 10%, after five years, you're looking at about $169,000 in inventory after five years. 10% is very, very unrealistic to keep up with once you get 
that kind of inventory in because it's so much that you're moving all the time. But for the first year, you should be able to hit at least 10% margins. That's if you're starting out with $100. If you go up higher and you start out with $500, by the end of year one, you're looking at about $6,000 worth of inventory. If you start out with $1,000, by the end of year one, you're looking at about $12,000 worth of inventory. If you start out with $5,000, this is really the magical number in my mind. If you have $5,000 in seed money that you can throw at this business and you're turning 10% profit every two weeks, you're looking at close to $60,000 worth of inventory after year one. And I think that's sustainable and I think it's a reach for some people, but it is possible if you have that kind of money, if you have that extra money lying around, I think $5,000 is the perfect amount of money to start this business with. If you are a little bit overzealous, you have $10,000 lying around, you can finish with $119,000 in inventory after turning 10% profit every two weeks. So you're basically turning your inventory. So what are you buying to start out with? I mean, it's pretty easy. You're just gonna focus on stuff that's gonna hit your margins right away. So you're gonna focus on things that we've talked about in the past on TCG Player. I start out with, I would start out with rainbow rares and secret rares like this. These two cards right at the beginning here, these two Charizards, Rainbow Charizard and Shiny Charizard V, these are selling for $450 to $500 a piece. I cannot tell you how many I found for $300 and then I turned them the next day. You cannot fall victim to how excited you get pulling these in because I know you get them and it's like, oh my goodness, I finally have one. I want to put it in the collection right away. That's not what you're doing this for. And I know it's tough to separate, but if you're looking at starting a business and you're looking at being in business for yourself, these cards, they have to turn right away. So this Charizard V, this shiny Charizard V right here, this has to hit $450 to $500 and you have to buy it at about $300. You cannot, you cannot shy away from that. Uh, so if you're doing that on a consistent basis, if you want to take that $100 and you want to just buy secret rares, you can buy plenty of secret rares just like these. You can buy a ton of them for $100. And your goal is to turn these for you know, at 100% uh, of the retail value. So you're buying them at about 60%, you're turning them at 100%. When you factor in shipping, you factor in um, cost of labor, like listing fees and things like that. If you can hit 10% consistently every two weeks for an entire year, you are going to finish uh, with $1,192 $1, in inventory. And I know that doesn't sound a lot, like a lot, but if you do that consistently, it's going to pay off. That's the thing. You have to do it consistently for a long time. Uh, so I told you I've been in this business for about five years. What you see behind me, this is not something that just happened overnight. Like this took years and years to accumulate. It took years to get to this point. I remember sitting in the exact same position that you're sitting in right now, buying $300 worth of bulk and knowing that it was going to empty my business account. And I was like, this is going to be bad. It's going to empty my business account, but I have to do it because I know it's going to hit the, I know it's going to hit the margins. I know I'm going to profit off of this. And it can be scary at times, but it's something you just have to trust your gut with. You research the game, you re research the market and you go with what you know works. Don't go into like things that are crazy right now. Don't be like, oh, I'm gonna spend $500 on vintage product. You don't know where that's going yet. So wait that out. Focus on the margins that are safe for you. Focus on the tools that are out there like TCG Player, like Amazon. I hear a lot of people who really enjoy eBay. I personally am not a huge fan of selling on eBay, but I know other people it works for. So if that's an avenue that you're really comfortable with, go for it. Sell on Facebook, sell on Instagram, sell on Twitter. Anywhere where you can grow your social media presence, just start focusing on those areas and really start moving cards. But you have to be doing this every couple weeks and you have to turn through your inventory all the time. Don't get something in and just sit on it. You can worry about investing down the road. Right now, you really wanna build up that portfolio and move forward after that. So. When you're talking about $100, let's go back to numbers for a second. I told you after a year, if you're just, if you're turning 10%, you're going to be at $1,192. If you continue doing that, turning 10% uh, after three years, you're going to be at $169,000 worth of inventory, which is quite a bit. It's crazy. But let's say after three years, things slow down, and you really only look at 1% profit, every two weeks, you're turning 1% profit of your inventory every two weeks. After five years, you're going to be at $286,000 worth of inventory. That's a great number to be at if you're investing only $100 into your business. But let's say things get worse. Let's say things start out slower for you, which is fine. You're all going at your own pace. If you invest $100 into this business and you only do 5% profit, so you're turning 5%, you're turning your inventory for 5% profit every two weeks. 
So that means you're taking stuff in, you've spent that $100, in two weeks you turn 5% profit. You take all of that money, you put it in, you turn 5% profit two weeks after that. After five years of doing that consistently, you're going to have $56,834 in inventory, which is a really, really strong number. It is a ripple effect. Once you start rolling this proverbial snowball and really get to the point where things go crazy, it's going to start moving itself and you can't turn it off. And that's really the point that you want to get to. That's the part that's going to be so important. I get very, very passionate when I talk to people about building their own business or starting their own business when it comes to Pokemon cards. I try and answer as many questions as I can. Look at the market. And I know that it's insane right now, but don't focus on the insanity. Focus on the things that you know are going to get you where you want. So we've talked about staples on TCG Player. We've talked about Rainbow Rares. We've talked about Secret Rares. We've talked about like full arts before. Those are the things you really want to focus on when you're first starting a business. You're looking on eBay. You're looking on TCG Player. You're looking on various social media websites. You're looking for your buy prices. And those are the numbers you want to hit. So Focus on what you want to start with, what you feel comfortable with. Don't break your bank. If it's $100, that's fine. If it's $500, that's fine. If it's $10,000, that's fine. But these are the things you want to start out with, and then you grow from there. Guys, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. I have a lot of other great stuff coming up. Uh, tomorrow night's video, I'm going to focus on bulk again, and I'm going to focus on us taking in bulk because I've got a very exciting announcement to make that's going to come tomorrow night. So guys, thank you so much for checking me out. If you have any additional questions, please follow me on Instagram. You can find me, danny.phantom. Uh, make sure to head over to mine and Papa's website. It's pkmncoliseum. Dot com. It's going to be a crazy week. I've got Marnie boxes coming in. We've got Hattering boxes coming in. We've got double boxes. We've got the Kanto Power Collections are coming out next week. We've got the second wave of Champions Path ETBs. It's a crazy time to be a business owner in this. Uh, it is nuts. And that's the other thing you need to remember, that you are walking into a complete storm of product. So uh, it's a lot of fun, but it's a grind, and it's a lot of work. So remember that. It's a big sacrifice. Guys, thank you so much uh, for checking out this video. I can't wait to give you more information. Until next time, peace.